The swamp is just off to the right of our position, and I'd rather stay away from there if possible because, you know, it's a swamp. Swamps are nasty. Yeah, see? There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy. Gaming name. We are going to continue our journey to the Redwoods, to our final destination, uh, where we're going to set up our permanent base. And so I've got all the critters loaded up, and I've got all the critters on follow to Trika. Uh, the birds are on, on a high follow distance and on passive. The trikes are on, I think, just a medium follow distance, which we might have to adjust if they get in my way. And they're all on neutral uh, because they can fight uh, for us if need be. I'm leaving the bed and a chest with a little bit of extra metal in it on the raft for now. We can come back for it later at some point just because uh, we are very heavy uh, as it is. Okay, so the plan here is for us to just go right on up through the, the Thule's here and to get over to the other side uh, to the Redwoods. Uh, before we get started, though, I'm... Oh, look at that. We already got a car, no? <laughs> uh, before we get started, I just want to uh, start reminding people at the beginning of the video to please hit that like button if you guys enjoy the episode. I, I, I'm also a YouTube consumer as well as a YouTuber, and a lot of times we just forget to hit the like button for the people that would like to watch. So if you guys enjoy the content, uh, please hit that like button. It does help the channel out quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm, and I will appreciate it. Uh, okay, so with that being said... Let's go ahead and get going here. I'll be cl clearing trees and stuff out of the way and then having to drop the material as we go along. Uh, just so we have a nice clear path for everybody to move through. And we want to make sure that the trikes don't get too far behind because they are pretty slow. And they're also loaded down pretty good too. And of course we will be getting loaded down here very quickly. Um, in fact, you know what I might do? Uh, we're not keeping anything that we can easily get once we get there. So we're not taking wood or berries or that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I guess I'll just keep this on me. But if I have to jump off, um, I'm not going to be able to move. But we'll figure that out when the time comes, I guess. The swamp is just off to the right of our position, and I'd rather stay away from there if possible because, you know, it's a swamp. Swamps are nasty. We should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to go around that way, so let's just drop all this stuff here. Are the anks coming? Oh my goodness, how'd you guys get so damn far behind all of a sudden? What the heck? Yeah, see? There we go. Am I not damaging him? Wow, he like took me a long ways away. With all the weight, too. Oh, boy. Well, we're off to a good start here. Um, shit. I can't even move. So, okay, can I call anybody to me? I can't believe how far away that guy took me. Unbelievable. Okay, well, here's what we're going to have to do then. We're going to have to set this down, which we can't to do because it needs a foundation. So, yeah, that's not going to work either. <sighs> I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure we can't set this down, right? Nope. Okay. Then we're going to have to ditch the metal. Quickly make a storage chest for it before it disappears. And then come back over here to grab it on the trike. Wow. Uh, if anything can go wrong, it will. 
This is Ark. Okay. Can we move? Yes. All right. That has... Four minutes. Okay, that's enough time. So we just need a little bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, and a little bit of fiber. We wanted to stay away from the swamp. Oh, graphics. Uh, because of the... The Capra's almost, you know, they're like the worst. And one was still up here to get us anyways. No surprise there. Okay, now let's pick this up. And... It's a lot of metal to leave behind. I'm not going to do it. All right, let's go... <laughs> can't believe that happened. Actually, yeah, I can't believe it happened. That is par for the course, man. All right, everybody just keep following. Okay, grab that. Now, can we get back on the trike? Yes, we can. Okay. Gotta uh, get rid of all this stuff. All right, let's keep this on the trike, and I'll just have to make sure I don't drop it when we drop all the other shit. Uh, because yeah, we, we need to be able to move if we get pulled off our mount. Okay, let's go. Uh, hopefully the Yankees are keeping up. Yeah, they're good. Okay. And we got both birds, right? Yes, we do. Okay. We got this. Um, is that a... That's just a... Oh, there's a berry. Uh, what level? I wouldn't mind getting a berry onyx. It's a 50. Hmm. That's kind of low. I think we're going to pass. If it was a little higher than that, I'd go for it. Okay, so let's go down through here. That berry's probably going to attack, and it'll be the last thing it does. Well, maybe not. The snake's definitely going to be a problem. Is that uh That's a true dog. That's one... That's a kill on sight, Dino. We hate those things. All right, everybody coming? Now, if we go th that way to the right, we're going to get closer to the swamp. So why don't we... We, we are going to have to cross the swamp at some point, but I just want to minimize the amount of crossing that we have to do. Red, redwoods are over there. I can see the tops of the trees, so we're not that far away. And what's going on? Oh, we got a Sarko. Uh, didn't I put you guys on neutral? I can't see. You know what? It might actually be better not to have them on neutral. Let's just keep them on passive. Um, I don't think we want to get too high because we might have trouble getting back down. Um, yeah, let's go this way. What's attacking? Oh, they're on neutral. Probably bugs. All right, we're too heavy. Pull that over for a second. Drop this. Uh, we don't need to be carrying that stuff either. Get out of here, snake. Okay, let's cross over this di direction. Get out of here. Everybody with me? Uh, we have a tree sinking into the ground. Pull that over, drop this, and we're good. Let's do a save too, by the way. 
If you happen to be watching me for the first time, I don't do those saves for saves coming. I do them because my game locks up every now and then, and it usually happens right after I find some good loot or something, and then I lose it. <laughs> so that's why we do the frequent saving. Sarko down that way. All right, what's going on here? Bug, bugs on the Pelagornis. Where are my Ankleos? They were just right behind me a second ago. Uh. They're over there. What the hell? Did they go off and chase something? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if I, that I'm a fan of the new AI pathing for critters. It just doesn't appear to be working all that great. Will you guys just follow me and quit trying to find a better path? Because uh, I know the best path. Just trust me on that, please. <laughs> you know what, Stu? They're, with all the rocks and stuff they're breaking, they're probably, yeah, I was going to say, they're probably getting really heavy. Uh, so we don't need flint or stone. Uh, I want to keep the rest of that stuff. Where's the other ink? Over here. You look like you haven't broken any rocks. Okay. Let us proceed. Where are we at? Redwoods are this way. This is probably where we're going to go ahead and cross the swamp here. Because, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, I want you also to be neutral, so if I get pulled off by another Capro, you'll come and rescue me. <laughs> oh, man, you Ankies are like, got brain worms. Why are you taking the path of most resistance? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Okay, so this is where we will cross over. And, uh, and that'll be fun. Is there more combat going on? Bugs. Sarko. Okay, hey, looks like the Yankees are slowly working their way over here. Slowly being the key word. Oh, I'm a little stressed right now. <laughs> this is a stressful endeavor, you guys. What the hell now? Oh, okay. Yeah, eat that guy. Leave us alone. There's another berry up there. It is a level 30. Nope, not worth our, uh, the absolute pain in the ass it'll be to try and tame it in the swamp. Okay, let's uh, drop all this. I forgot to put that back in his inventory, or her inventory. 
Okay, let's move through here. We might pick up some leeches, but we'll deal with them later. Get all this shit out of the way so it doesn't block any of our dinos, even though they'll go a different path than the one I'm creating for them. Ah, oh, shit, we come to a cliff. That's not good. Wow. Uh, oh, it looks like we can get up over there. Okay, so... Let's go this way. Oh, hold on. I want to keep that. Let's keep this, too. We might use that stuff later. Of course, we can always come back to that, though, too. So, All right, are the Anks here? I see Hornita. Where's Horny? Is he coming? There he is. He's coming. He decided to take the scenic route again. Take your time, buddy. We're not in a hurry. This isn't a dangerous spot for us to rest, so you just come on over at your leisure. Hmm. We sure picked a cliff, a cliffy area. So we're gonna have to figure out our route to go. You know what I'm gonna do though? Um, everybody's here, right? Okay. Let's do a quick save. I just wanna run down here and take a quick look at something. Is this a, oh, okay, good. I'm glad I did, cause I would not would not have noticed that this is a pathway through here. That was fortuitous. Okay, let's come this way. It didn't, you know, on the trike, it just looked like it was a kind of like an indent in the cliffside there. Pace, pace to explore sometimes. Oh, you know what? I should check. I'm sure you're fine. I should check the Ankies for leeches in particular. Nope, you're good. You are good too. Okay, good. Then I didn't have leeches on. Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Well, hello there, bear and megaloceros. What level are you guys? Bear. Rude. Very rude. We are, it is my intention to tame uh, bears because um, they're cool. A, B, they are good at getting fiber. Not that we need that because we can get fiber like crazy with a sickle. And C, they're also very good at getting honey. That's the main reason. Paraceratherium, you are level 85 and you're right in the way. So you have a few moments to move out of my way before... I expire you. Oh shit, Petra's in bad shape. Yeah, you, you got hurt. What? Why can't I get in your inventory? It's not letting me get in her inventory. Come on, game. I don't know what the hell's going on. I can't get in his inventory either. Are we crashing? Can I get on, on you? No, I can get on you. Well, that was weird. Okay. Yeah, if we engage this Paraceratherium, uh, we're going to lose our Pteranodon, so let's just get away from it. Alright, so, we're going to take a break here. There's terror birds and raptors up ahead. But I want to try and heal up the Pteranodon a little bit. That bear really put the hurt on it. Everybody just stay here. I'm going to go kill something, get some meat for the Petra. Uh, 
God, Pella, don't land up by the... Oh, actually, you know what? We got to kill these guys anyways. Well, let's just go up here and get the meat. Oh. Microraptors. Gotta love them. Kill the baby terror bird. All right, I don't know where that micro raptor went to. Hey, quit eating my stuff. Now, let's get some meat. Still doesn't let me mount it. Um, is it? Is it? I don't know what the hell's going on. Let's just tell it to follow. All right, we have officially made it to the Redwoods. Um, so, let's take a look at the map here. Um, I think we're just going to go right up along through here, kind of around the base of the Red Peak. And our destination is this general vicinity, and then I'm going to have to do a little scouting to figure out exactly what our plan's going to be. So, yeah, we just pretty much keep on this heading. Um, you know what? Everybody follow the track, not me. And let's do this. I wonder if, um, Horny has extra stone or something in it, his inventory, because he's really, really slow. Let's get rid of that out of your inventory. Oh, you got meat, too. Okay, let's remember that if we need it again. Yeah, you got extra stuff in here that you don't need to be hanging on to. Um, we don't need that stuff. That's better. Okay. There's a Allosaur, I think, over there. Fighting an Argentavis. All right, let's just sit here for a minute and wait for the... Anks to get up here. What level of aloe are we talking? Ooh, a 130 female. We're going to be taming those because they're good for the ice cave. Ugh, but I'm not set up to do that right at the moment. And they have a very high torpor drop, too. All right. I want the birds to stay here. And we got to deal with this guy. Gal, brother. Did we get the brain? There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's grab the talon off of you. Talons. We'll have plenty of metal on the on this uh, mountain here, the Red Peak. There's a dodic over there. We need one of those. That's yeah, only level ten though. Get out of here! And the dodics, or not the dodics, the Ankies are taking the scenic route again. I didn't know Anks could knock over trees on their own. How funny. Okay, um... 
Let's go this way to see if we can get up. Yeah, looks like we might be able to get up over this way. There's another wounded Dodic there. Check its level. Uh, 10, I think it said. Yeah, that's just... That ain't gonna work. RG. Leave my Pella alone. I can pick up an Argentavis? Seriously? Wow. That, uh... Seems... Against the law of physics. <laughs> I'll take the arrows, too. Uh, I still have it? Here, let go of it. It, uh... There. That was weird. I had no idea you could pick those things up. Okay, where's the inks? Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay, watch out, Stego. There's the river. We're almost to our destination. What the hell is that? Thyla Kaleo. Pella, are you okay? Eh, it doesn't look too bloody. She's tough. Let's get the claws from you. I wonder if this guy... Um, I'm going to actually grab these two for spare tools. I wonder if he jumped out of the tree or if he was just... On foot, because most of the thylos I've seen so far have just been on the ground. I haven't seen a lot of them, of course, but... Okay, so this area directly in front of us, I think I might see another thylo up there, is kind of what I'm thinking. But let's get all the way over there and assess... The thing is, is if we have our base up here, we're going to have to use um, rain cisterns because the goofy new uh, irrigation system, you have to be near the water. I, I, I would think that they're pro they might change that at some point. unit on somewhere. There. But I, I like this area because it's relatively flat. It's pretty spacious. It's right next to the mountain for metal. And it's in the Redwoods. Okay, so we're going to fly around and do a little... Um, survey here um before we do let's save the game and these guys should be fine here ornita and trika should both be no you're not glad i checked you should be neutral and you should be neutral there that way if something attacks they'll take care of it Okay, let's do a little bit of flying around here. Uh, and of course, it's getting dark, so now we can't see very well, but it is what it is. So that area there is pretty flat uh, that we could use to set up our base. Hopefully, we don't get nailed by a thylacolio. Of course, it's actually pretty flat over in here, too. Um... We could easily remove all the boulders. We wouldn't be able to remove the big log, though, because that's probably just a static thingy. Yeah. 
So the point here is that there's there's quite a bit of territory, flattish territory, around here that we could take advantage of. Uh, I mean, even over here, actually, looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm almost liking it better over here. It's just a little more open. Yeah. Okay, so... This is this is a very strong candidate for our our base. Now let's the other option is, um, this is the promontory I was talking about that kind of juts out. Um, it's difficult to tell though how flat it actually is, just because of all of the features. It's got a big dip down there, so it's not it's not what you would call super flat it, it it could be utilized but the nice thing about being on this side is we're on the volcano side which means we can easily get obsidian if we needed to but i i'm just you know i really want to think i'm wanting want it to live in the redwoods now the other thing we could do is if we did want to utilize this area, we could potentially build a bridge to it. Get out of here. Can't get my beak around to bite the damn thing. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, there's no, you know, nothing that says we can't utilize this area over here later on either. And what I'll probably will do is I'll probably build a greenhouse down at the river so, you know, that we can access the irrigation. But up here for water, we're just going to have to put some cisterns down. Um, because, I, you know, there's no pipe, so I don't know how the hell we would get the water up here from the river. Unless they, they have changed that or are going to change it. Let's actually look in here. Hold on. Save the game. Uh, let's look in here. Now, see, there's nothing for pipes. Nothing at all. You'd, you'd think they would have taken that into account. You know, let's come up with this awesome quote-unquote wireless w water irrigation system. But it only works if you're right level with the water, <laughs> you know? Um... So, I, I can't imagine they're going to keep it that way. They're going to have to change that. So, anyway. All right, guys. Well, here's the thing. I think that this is the spot. Maybe maybe just on this side of the, the big log there. This whole area in here is where I think I want to set up shop. There's lots of room. It's... It's slanted a little bit, but not not too much. Um, oh, no, wait a minute. It was over here, right? Yeah, no, it was over here that I liked better. A little flatter. Yeah, so this is going to be where we're going to build our permanent base. That is the plan. Uh, just want to look at one last thing here. And if I decide it's worthwhile for some reason, then I may not. Uh, get away from me, Microraptor. Uh, we, we might do a bridge over to there and utilize that area later. But we might not need to either. I think we'll, we'll probably have plenty of room just in this spot up here. I will build a stairway uh, and or an elevator system down to the water, though. And probably down on this little beach here, we'll put a, a greenhouse in. Uh, so that is the tentative plan for now. And yeah, look at that Microraptor way the hell up in the sky. I didn't think they could fly that high. It's like it's chasing something. I don't know. That is weird. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm going to get uh, situated, kind of get a, a little starter base going. And then... 
steal anything. In fact, I better get over back over to my critters. <laughs> uh, and then I'll bring you guys back um, in a little while for the next episode, and we'll go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.